Um, I was watching the YouTube videos and channels and stuff that I watch, just catching up on everything. And one of the YouTubers I watch, um, her name is Pink Sparkles, and the word pink has two eyes in it. Um, she's really cool. She is one of those hairless cats, and so cute. But she's really cool. She's from Canada. Anyway, not the point. She did this video, and I've never seen one of these before. It's called a, um, what's in my fridge video. It just, like, shows you what's in your fridge and stuff. So, I thought it was really cool and, like, something new and different, because I guess there's a bunch of them on YouTube, but I've never seen one before. So, I was bored, and I'm kind of like... I feel disgusting because I went out earlier and I really need to take a shower. But for some reason, the air conditioning's like not hitting upstairs, so it's still kind of warm, so I just haven't done it yet. So I've just been sitting watching YouTube videos. I'm like, you know what? This sounds fun. I'm going to do this and then I'm going to take my shower. So I'll probably upload this tomorrow because today's Wednesday and I already uploaded a video today. So I'll probably upload this on Thursday. Um, but yes, I'm going to do that. So. This is what my fridge looks like. Um, I have random stuff on the top and ship clips and a church key over there and then just like other stuff here. This is a picture that my wonderful stepdaughter drew me for Christmas before she was my stepdaughter. So here's my fridge. Uh, oh, this was maybe not my smartest idea because there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay, we have orange juice. The light went out in the fridge and even though I tried replacing the bulb it still won't work so I have to talk to the landlord about that this weekend I forgot the oh okay I feel dumb anyway eh, not important don't worry about it we have orange juice Alex loves this I don't like orange juice and it's even grosser when it has a lot of pulp but he loves this so we try and keep that um, I just picked up a thing of milk we just got, get the smaller ones because A, they're easier to pour, and B, anytime we get a big one, it, like, expires. Um, have almond milk. This is almost empty. I just was using this when we were out of milk. I had it on the shelf. Um, Kraken. Whipping cream, because we're wanting to make some homemade pasta sauce. Um, Earth Balance. It's a spreadable fake butter. Um, I actually haven't opened that yet because I keep forgetting it's in here. We have pickled ginger for, that also hasn't been opened, but that's for when we make sushi. I'm gonna, like, um, oh, we have sour cream when we made tacos. I'm just gonna, you can just watch that for a second. I think this might be wrong. Well, I don't know. It's been in my fridge for a while, but it doesn't, it's not growing or anything, so I'm just going to assume that's fine. Um, we have a bottle of Italian dressing that hasn't even been cracked open yet. Uh, some leftover Halloween Funfetti frosting from the last time I made cupcakes and frosted them. Uh, pumpkin pie stuff. Two pounds of butter because I just went to the grocery store and I forgot I already had an unopened pound on the fridge. Three dozen eggs. This is from... Oh, we just bought these two. These ones are older, but I'm about to make deviled eggs with them. Excuse me. I'm about to make deviled eggs with those. Boiled eggs, whatever. Um, second shelf is... Well, we have pizza because I get pizza earlier and Alex is too asleep to eat it. Oh, this is a mess. Okay, I need to reorganize this anyway. I have half a jar of roasted garlic parmesan ragu. That stuff is amazing. Um, let's see. I just picked these up. This is just cottage cheese and then whole milk, which is specifically bought the whole milk kind and the small curd kind of cottage cheese. These are because I'm making homemade lasagna sometime soon. we got to figure out when some people can come over. Um, Pick this up, shredded sharp cheddar cheese. I like having the sharp cheddar specifically. Um, the brand doesn't matter. I just had a coupon for Kraft. Um, this is what I had last time. It was Target. It was mild cheddar. You can see Alex picked it out instead of me. Um, this is most of a package of mozzarella. And where's the other one? Here's the other package. I don't know why it looks different, but it looks a little different. But they say they're the same thing. So this is a full package of mozzarella. Those are for um, lasagna. 
have an open box of pie crust. There's one of those left in there. I need to make a pie. I should cook something tonight. Um, tortillas. I don't know why we keep these in the fridge. We don't keep bread in the fridge. I just, that's how I grew up. So we have tortillas. Although there's only one left in here. So I should make tacos sometime soon. Um, white cheddar cheese curds. Mom and dad brought these when they were here. They are so good. I haven't cracked those open yet. Um, this I got because I just want to try it. It's Daya cheddar style cheese slices. It's like fake cheese. Um, it doesn't taste like cheese to me, but it is pretty good. It just keeps getting pushed to the back of the fridge. I haven't finished it. Um, I forget these were in here too. Okay, open. They say rice cake, but they're like daifuku. Is what the bigger ones are usually called. They're, um, well yeah, there you go. Azuki daifuku mochi. Um, it's like this squishy, gooey stuff on the outside, and then red bean paste on the inside. I need to be eating this. How do I eat this stuff? And then here's a... The last time I went to the Asian grocery store, I got a few different kinds to try instead of just my normal ones. Because they had some new ones. This is just a different kind. Same thing. Um, an open thing of... Oh my, that's moldy. Okay, well I have an open thing of tofu, because I used half of it, and I couldn't figure out what to do with the second half. But apparently it's just going to go in the trash because that's moldy. I guess it's a good thing I'm doing this video. Um, Alex was in the mood for hot dogs when we were at the grocery store. So we picked up some hot dogs. And then just some leftover hamburger helper. And yeah, I do save these tubs that the Chick-fil-A wraps come in. They're pretty useful. So let's start putting things back in here. Can you tell we like cheese? I use cheese in all sorts of stuff. And I tried the Daya shredded cheddar cheese stuff. But I didn't like it. It, it, it was not pleasant. Um, and on the bottom here we have um, some leftover wassail from the reception last week. Um, my camera battery died last night, and I had to charge it, and then we had company. So I'm going to finish this video now. Um, my sexy husband's getting breakfast. He's shaved. I think he looks weird, but he still looks hot. Thanks. You're welcome. So everything is pretty much the same in here as it was last night, with a couple exceptions. Um, there's now part of a jar of pasta sauce in here. I ate the, uh big bowl of pasta that I was about to show you that was in there last night. And there's, let's see, some leftover spaghetti. And this got moved. Otherwise, everything's the same in here. So we have French onion dip. Um, oh yeah, apparently. Try this again. My camera battery kept dying and it, so I like plugged it in and it wouldn't charge and I couldn't figure out what was going on with it. And um, I put that battery in the charger upside down. So, when it's right set up, it works really well. Um, gonna try and finish this What's in My Fridge video. None of my videos are going right lately, just, like, doing them. They're getting all choppy and everything. Um, but, yeah, gonna try and finish this, and hopefully the next video will be all normal and smooth and everything. So, I really hope I'm frame. I can't see. Okay, let's try this again. So... Everything up here in the top should be the same, and everything in the middle it should be the same. The only difference is, uh, let's see, there's bottles of water down here. We get these um, Voss. Alex really likes them, and then I save the bottles and reuse them. And then there's French onion dip. There's some turkey breast that Alex likes to eat on sandwiches. Leftover wassail that my grandma made from the reception. And leftover spaghetti. And then I think everything else is about the same. I and mean, we have been eating stuff, but it should be mostly the same. All that's left is the door. So this is the bottom shelf. We have um, Yeri Yeri Teriyaki. Alex loves it. I'm like moderately like teriyaki, but he's like in love with teriyaki and that's his favorite. Um, let's see, mustard. Soy sauce, which I refill that. Uh, lemon juice, regular Parmesan cheese, um, maple syrup. The I call it fancy. It's the shredded Parmesan cheese. 
Um, this is the Spicy Ranch Taco Bell dressing or sauce or whatever. Mayonnaise. Oh, that reminds me. I'm supposed to make deviled eggs. I should do that. Um, this is some spicy pot sticker dipping sauce I got to try from the discount grocery store. And I know I've given it to Alex and he liked it. I don't remember if I've tried that. Um, so yes, this is the second shelf. I'll start over here. This is, um, pancake syrup, but it's boysenberry. It's okay. Um, this is just ranch dressing and Caesar dressing. And this is my favorite, um, salsa verde. I love this stuff. It's awesome. It's not too spicy. It's the right texture and all that. We got ketchup, um, partial jar of salsa. I hope that's still good. Clint's Texas Salsa. It's just one I got at the discount grocery store for Alex to try. Um, this is Taco Bell Mild Sauce. I just put it in an old pasta sauce jar because it came in those packets that come in like the, um, the taco kits. And then this is like little stuff. So let's see what's in here. Um, I'm just going to pull it out and then I'll put it back in there. I'll that's, I think I might have to toss that. Oh my. Okay, so these are really good. They're like little pockets that you make sushi with, but they're moldy, so those are going to go in the trash. Um, something leaked. I don't know what leaked. Okay, anyway, this is wasabi paste. Um, I've got like three little things of that garlic sauce from Papa John's. Um, little cucumber soy sauce, light, less sodium, whatever you call it packets because Alex likes the lower sodium stuff. Um, two of these little crushed red pepper packets and a parmesan cheese packet from Papa John's. They just tossed them in last time. And then this is like ham glaze sauce that came with ham but we didn't use it so I'm just going to toss it because I think that's what leaked. Um, I've got a few eggs left up here and those are gone. I'll replace them. And then some butter. It's just like regular butter, but this stuff is like, okay, I know I'm going to go nuts about butter, but this is, it's, um, I call it cruelty free, even though it doesn't say it on the box, because the cows were treated nicely, and they're like pasture fed and all that. It's organic and everything. It just looks like regular, but slightly healthier butter. But then you taste it. Okay, I'm going to close the fridge, so I'm not letting laying all the cold air out or whatever. But then you taste that butter, okay? I love butter. I'm the kind of person that if I cut off a little slice to put in something, I will lick the, the knife afterwards and get the extra butter off. I know, I'm crazy, but it's delicious. And it's usually pretty good. But that butter is like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Like, it is so good. It's the best butter I've ever had. So I would definitely recommend that butter because it is so good. It makes everything taste better. Okay, then the freezer. Um, yeah, the freezer. Okay. I'm not going to pull everything out of the freezer just because it's a mess, but I can, and I don't want, like, chicken jumping me or something, but I can tell you what's in here. So on the top up here I have film. Most of my film is, like, out of date because I get it at discount stores, so it's cheaper. It still works fine. I just keep it in here so it lasts longer. Um, I have some ancient toaster strudels from last fall, and I haven't been able to cook them because we only had that toaster of anything as a toaster. Ignore my messy kitchen. But now we have a toaster, so I can cook those. I keep putting them in there. have some pecans, um, a couple Asian pastries to try. Um, half a summer sausage from dad, a couple things of yeast, there's some more yeast in there somewhere. Up here is just various types of meat, so we have chicken, deer, turkey, cow, I think there's a little cow left, um, but yeah, um, we try to be mostly cruelty free even in our food, but it's really hard, so we're trying to do that more. Um, there are a few things in there that are not cruelty free still, but like this, as far as I can tell, is cruelty free. The chickens seem to be fed well. That was a freebie from the grocery store. And I've got some stuff that I know is cruelty free because my dad raised these chickens. I know the deer is cruelty free. Oh, pork, that's the other thing. I know the pork is cruelty free because I know who raised it. It's a friend of my dad's, all that good stuff. Um, like, like I said, we do try to be cruelty free. It's just kind of hard to do it on a college 
budget with only one of us working so there's that um have ice cubes have little apples and brains and ketchup um an extra package of ham or not hamburger hot dog buns these are the pop cupcakes from our reception we're supposed to eat those in a year these are leftover mints from they originally from my grandparents 50th anniversary and then we used them for the reception too because they found in my grandparents free so they're really good i just need to like pull them out um udon noodles maybe i should have that for dinner tonight. um two different kinds of like vegetarian burgers they're the mushroom kind now there's these ones that i got when i was living in illinois they're so good but i couldn't find the brand down here it's morning star but i couldn't find them down here like the mushroom ones i found the other ones not the mushroom ones so i tried a couple other ones um this top one so like sunshine organic sunshine burgers or something ugh. Ugh. The, well the mushroom ones at least that's the ones i've had it's just like ugh. the ones down here these they're called garden burgers they're okay i should probably actually eat those and then we have four different kinds of mochi because i have no self-control and they're all delicious so we have mango green tea strawberry and chocolate so that's all that's in my fridge and my freezer um yeah that's pretty much it sorry if you're like all in my face i'm still getting the hang of this camera um i think that's it i will probably be posting another video because i have a couple things i want to do and i think i have a package coming in the mail tomorrow finally so yeah um, I'm going to shut up now and actually go shopping. I don't know. I've been hearing about Vitacost online or all over. Oh, that's my light. Never mind. All over YouTube. So I'm going to order some stuff from there because it's easier to find cruelty-free things like razors and stuff on there. And it's cheaper than buying from Target because... Well, if you watched my last video, you heard the rant about the sunscreen that costs three times as much just to get one that doesn't hurt animals, which kind of irks me. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now and go do that. Bye!